Hi all, the purpose of this video is to do an Ampere's Law example. So our learning goal and objective is to be able to apply Ampere's Law to solve for the magnetic field at a distance away from whatever we're looking at. So if we start off with a current carrying sheet negligible thickness of current density J. <laughs> so we're going to have a current carrying sheet negligible thickness J. So it's going to look something like this. We're going to have bunch of currents coming out at us and we want to solve for the magnetic field. So what we're going to do is uh, we can think of this as uh, first we need to understand where the magnetic field is. So if we take our right hand, cup it so that we have curled fingers that will give us the direction of the B field, point our thumb in the direction of the current, the, your thumb should all be pointing out of the screen at you and your fingers should be sort of curling around like this. So by symmetry what's going to happen is there's going to be B fields from all of these like this. So we're going to get a net B field this way and a net B field this way. So now what we do is we uh, take an Ampereian loop that is of length L and we can say a width W, that doesn't matter. So what we'll do is we will do our integral of B dot DS for the mu naught I enclosed. So we've chosen our Amperian loop such that uh, B, the B field is constant, so we can pull the B out. And, uh, well, let's do it one at a time. So for this length, it's going to be B times L plus, and then zero here, and then this is B times L. And then this part is zero here because the magnetic field is perpendicular. That's going to be equal to mu naught i enclosed. So we're going to get 2bl equal to mu naught i enclosed. So now we just have to figure out the i enclosed. So we're given a current density j. So what we do is we have 2bl equals mu naught jl. The l's cancel, and we're left with our b field is equal to mu naught over 2 times the current density J, and this is the magnetic field strength. So much like in uh, Gauss's law for an infinite plane of charge, the electric field is constant. For an infinite sheet of charge, the magnetic field is also constant, and it's this value. All right, thank you very much.